Look, Android updates have kind of become boring now. Now you can do this in a slightly better way. Earlier, you had a combined page for notifications, quick settings. We made it into two pages. Yay! Well, it's the same story again and again, but nothing being nothing. They had to do something different. And guess what? It actually worked. This is what Android updates should look like. Yes, the new Nothing OS 3 update is finally here. We have the beta running on the Nothing Phone 2A and this actually has seven big changes. So you know what, this is Rupesh, you're watching Silicons. Make sure to hit subscribe, make sure to hit the bell icon and time to talk about the visual changes first. Some I like, some I don't. Oh, so the first thing I noticed in the UI is that the dot matrix font, aka the end dot font from Nothing is gone from a number of places. I mean, it's gone from the time in the notifications page. It's gone from the text in the settings pages. I mean, it's been replaced by sans serif, which does look clean and minimal. But yeah, I would have liked an option to choose the end dot font too. Anyway, the settings page has an updated layout now with better groups, as you can see. And there's a new special features page that combines options like pop-up view, game mode, etc. There's also a new tips and feedback page that has a lot of guides that might be handy for new Nothing users. Data part, the whole dot matrix design is now part of some of the animations in Nothing OS 3. Yeah, see this fingerprint animation? Yeah, dot matrix style. Even the charging animation is moving to a dot matrix design, but yeah, not live in this beta. Same with the new animation in the weather app. Also, when I talk about UI changes, I did notice that the Nothing icon pack now has some color according to the theme. Same with the pages in the settings. They're not totally monochrome now, and both these phones are set to the same colors in the customization page. Even the notification panel is no longer black, even in light mode. And that brings me to the new quick settings panel. Okay, so this is what the new quick settings panel in Nothing OS 3 looks like and there's two really great things about it. Number one, the brightness slider is finally lower, more accessible and it has an auto brightness option right here. No need to always go to the settings but still no haptics. Second, this no longer has the big tiles wasting space. You get more tiles right away and this is totally customizable. I can just hit edit and now I can remove or resize any of the new quick settings tiles like this. I know it reminds you of iOS 18 a bit so not sure who copied who but it's a nice addition. Now most tiles only support two sizes, only Bluetooth supports three, and I also like this new ringer tile that lets you switch things quickly. The one thing I wasn't a big fan of in Nothing OS is that when you have the Nothing icon pack, it's all monochrome, you cannot really find the apps you're looking for in the app drawer, Well, that's getting a big solution. And first of all, you can pin apps to the top, super handy. I know you get app suggestions using AI to show you the most used apps to the top, but this is definitely better and you can have multiple rows of apps pinned. Then there's the option to switch to a new smart app drawer and this automatically categorizes apps into different folders like social, games, entertainment, etc. Kind of like the app library in iOS. Now moving on to the lock screen changes in Nothing OS 3. First of all, you can now long press here to directly customize the lock screen like this and notice the new clock style. There's actually five new options now and some of them look really cool. You can also tap on the widgets to change them and now you have the option to actually have an expanded widget area which removes the clock from top but you can add any widget here. So you can add this clock and this date and yeah, have your own new lock screen. Now what's a new Nothing OS update without some widgets? So Nothing OS 3 is bringing a new countdown widget which is not live in this beta but looks pretty cool from what Nothing showed us. Nothing OS 3 will also bring shared widgets so basically you'll be able to share any widget like say the photo widget to show the same photo on your phone and your family. Should also be great to compete in steps and yes you'll be able to react on widgets like this. Nothing OS 3 will also bring a new gallery app which I think looks clean and nice with the whole Nothing style. And first of all, it should make checking a photo after clicking it in the camera app way faster. Second, it'll show you key moments like this and there's a lot more features coming. See, apart from the big features and changes in Nothing OS 3, the fact is this is based on Android 15, so you get all of the Android 15 features as well. But there are a lot of other interesting features here and there that not many people are noticing. For example, in the battery settings, there's a new custom charging mode. There's also a new charging assistant page that lets you enable notifications for slow chargers and shows you some suggestions on which chargers to use. In the storage, there's a new smart cleanup feature which will automatically defragment storage for better performance. I also noticed this new reset button in the home screen customization page, in the internet settings page, in the quick tiles customization page to just make things default again if you want. Look, obviously this is the first Nothing OS 3 beat. I've only used it for a day. Some of the features aren't live yet. So yeah, it's too early to judge 
such, but one thing is for sure, this is one exciting update. I mean, I like Nothing OS already, and this just makes it even better. This amps up the customization, some of which seem iOS like, but Android has always been all about the customization. So I like Nothing doubling down on that, but yes, bring the N dot font back. And what do you guys think of the new Nothing OS update? Is this the best Android update or should we wait to see what One UI 7 brings? Well, it's gonna be interesting. Subscribe.